Welcome, and thank you for joining me today to this very special announcement. We celebrate and respectfully acknowledge that we live and work on the traditional lands of Canada's Indigenous peoples. We honour the ancestry, heritage, and gifts of the Indigenous peoples and give thanks to them. Athabasca University, Canada's online university, is proud to welcome the diverse community of learners from across Canada and around the world. I am excited today to be making a very significant announcement on behalf of Athabasca University's Board of Governors, the introduction of AU's 10th president. Before I introduce you to our president designate, I'd like to first thank everyone involved in the search process and those from the AU community who participated in the consultation, sharing with us their hopes and ideas of what they want to see in the university's next president. This included our undergraduate and graduate students, associations, faculty, staff, and each of our union partners. I would like to thank Deborah Myers, our interim and AU's ninth president for her strong and steady leadership through the transition period. It has been a challenging time and Deborah has guided us through it with great wisdom and expertise, paving the way for our new president to step in. Our advisory committee, made up of learners, board members, and faculty, undertook a comprehensive search, reviewing candidates from around the world. Our goal is to find a new president who will keep AU at the forefront of digital first post-secondary education and ensure that our remarkable community of learners, alumni, team members continue to grow and prosper, guided by the government's Alberta 2030 Building Skills for Jobs initiative. Alberta 2030 vision is about building a world-class post-secondary system that provides learners with the skills, knowledge and competencies they need to succeed and thrive in a globally competitive workforce. During the process, we heard from our community that they wanted an innovative and creative president with a strong academic and research background, with a bold vision for the future of online learning and Athabasca's university's role in leading it. It was a tall order, but our committee and our board strongly believe that AU's next president fulfills all of these requirements and more. I am pleased to announce the 10th president of Athabasca University, Professor Peter Scott. Peter will take office on January 4th, 2022. But before I introduce you to President Scott, I would like to welcome Alberta's Minister of Advanced Education, the Honorable Demetrius Nicolaides, to say a few words. Minister? Hi, I'm Demetrius Nicolaides, Alberta's Minister of Advanced Education. I want to uh, thank uh, Board Chair Nancy Laird and the uh, rest of the Athabasca University community for giving me the opportunity to participate with all of you today and to welcome Athabasca University's newest president. Athabasca University plays such a critical role within Alberta's post-secondary system and of course operates effectively as Canada's online university. I know the new president uh, has some remarkable accomplishments and achievements that they will bring to this role. And I am confident that with that leadership, Athabasca University will continue to grow and thrive, providing success uh, opportunities for many Albertans. Once again, congratulations to the new incoming president, to the entire team at Athabasca University. I look forward in seeing what future goals and aspirations the institution will accomplish. Thank you, Minister Nicolais, for your words of support. It gives me great pleasure to introduce everyone to AU's next president, Professor Peter Scott. Professor Scott is an accomplished international academic, researcher, and senior executive with extensive experience in online and digital education. He is currently Pro Vice Chancellor Education at the University of Technology, Sydney in Australia, where he is responsible for strategic leadership on new models of learning and teaching, particularly digital learning. In his recent work, Peter has led UTS Lifetime of Learning Initiative, a university-wide plan to expand the reach of learning via online delivery, micro-credentials, 
enterprise learning, and more. Peter received his PhD in psychology at the University of Sheffield in the UK in 1987 and spent nine years there as an academic and researcher in the field of cognitive science and psychology. He then spent close to 20 years in senior positions at the Open University in the UK, driving innovation in open and online learning. In his last role there, he was director of the Knowledge Media Institute, a multidisciplinary research development lab that has been at the forefront of innovation for 25 years in areas such as semantic technologies, new forms of educational media, social media analysis, big data, blockchain, smart cities, and the Internet of Things. In his career, Peter has led in attracting more than $80 million in international research grants. As a scholar, he was the founding president of the European Association of Technology Enhanced Learning, and he is a sought after leader and speaker in the field. We are so pleased and excited to welcome Peter to the AU community, Peter. Thank you, Nancy, for your kind words. I am honored and inspired to be joining Athabasca University as its next president. Today, I'm speaking to you from the lands of the Birribirigal people of the Eora Nation in Sydney, Australia. I acknowledge elders past, present and emerging as the traditional custodians of knowledge for this place. Over here in Sydney, we are still following very rigorous pandemic restrictions, which is the reason for this beautiful backdrop. As Nancy has shared, my research focus and my great interest for many years has been educational technology, particularly digital technology, which is part of what drew me to AU. But my greater passion in education is open access for learners. Open is a perfect word. It gets to the heart of what every educator should want. And that is to bring learning to as many people in as many ways as possible, regardless of their circumstances. As the first person in my family to attend university, I understand firsthand what a transformative experience it can be to have access to post-secondary education. Digital technology can be a brilliant tool to facilitate that openness. That inspires and excites me. But I know that technology is only an enabler of innovation in education. It is not an end in itself. The value is the change we create with it. The open universities have always embraced that change early and driven innovation in practice. But we know that the real underlying change is a social change towards more flexible work learning that is more integrated with life, that is lifelong, and that is open to all. We understand that AU learners are unique. They're often in the workforce with family responsibilities and in need of flexible educational options. I look forward to connecting with them in my role as president. AU's mission is to remove barriers and increase the quality of access to educational opportunities. And to me, that is as noble as a university admission can get. AU is distinct and unique in its openness in teaching and research dissemination, and that makes us an ideal partner to other institutions and organizations. As that partner in education and research, we will grow our reach and help to implement the elements of the government's Alberta 2030 Building Skills for Jobs strategy. Now, societies worldwide have faced incredible challenges because of the pandemic. But for educators, it has renewed and reaffirmed the need and the opportunity for quality online education. AU is well on the way along a fantastic future path with the Imagine Strategic Plan. And I look forward to exploring how I can help our team to strengthen AU's impact both at home and abroad, today and into the future. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. It's wonderful to hear your enthusiasm about joining AU. I know that together we will accomplish great things. In closing, I'd like to thank those of you who virtually joined us today to watch the announcement and meet our new president. I hope you are all as excited about AU's future as we are.